Hey, I'm Coach Jeremy. I'm back with the sales tip of the week. And I was just finishing up a coach hole on my clients, and he's having a recent problem with people not keeping their appointments and kind of, you know, porching them, not keeping the appointments, not keeping appointments that stick, and people canceling on them. And again, it, it goes back to the same basic principle I teach everything we do. It's about the problem. If you don't give people a compelling reason to meet with you, they're not going to stick, keep the appointment. They're not going to want to meet with you. See, we see salespeople every day. We hear from them on the phones, see them trying to talk to us in the stores, and people are conditioned to blow off salespeople today. So unless we create a problem to give them a compelling reason to want to meet with us, to give them a reason why they need to meet with us, not telling them, but asking them questions to help them see what their problem is and have it and be compelling for them so they want to sit with us on a consistent basis. That's what we're trying to do. See, a lot of people are out there talking about the product, about infinite banking, about misfortune, about tax retirement, about all these different sales concepts and products, IULs, whole life, buy my term, buy my finance policy. When the policy is irrelevant, the product's relevant, the sales is irrelevant. It's about what problem it solves for the prospect. And until we hit that problem, they're not going to want to meet with you. And if they do meet with you either because they feel sorry for you, that's not a good sell either. But we want to have them be able to want to meet on a favorable basis. You know, how, what can we do differently to get the client to want to interact with us and sit with us and talk about the problem they have? If I tell you, hey, you need to lose 30 pounds, you're going to re you're gonna respond with that by telling me to go F off or, you know, I don't need to lose weight. You're going to reject that whole conversation where if you ask questions and help identify the problem with the person, you have a much greater chance of them wanting to sit with you, wanting them to meet with you. For example, I've been told I need to lose weight for 30 some years from my doctors. And until I want to lose weight, I'm not, going to, I'm not going to make that change. So a few weeks, a few months ago, one of my doctors said, Hey, Jeremy, if you know, if you, if you lost 20 or 30 pounds, how much better would you feel? How much more energy would that give you to play with your grandchildren? Would that alleviate from the pain in your back and pain in your hips you're having? You know, if you make that a reality, you know, would you want to know how to do it? It changes the whole mindset. So when we're talking to our prospects, it's using the same rational, same rationale, you know, same questioning line, just in a different way. You know, Mr. And Mrs. Smith, if if something happened to you or your spouse tomorrow and their income stopped immediately, what would happen to your family? You know, who, who would that affect? How would your kids react to having no income from, the, from, from dad? Would you be able to keep the home you live in? You know, how are you going to replace that income? If I can show you some strategies on how to protect the whatever happening, is worth having a conversation about. See, it, it, setting up homes is the easiest thing we have to do. Because we have tons of people around us every single day we can talk to if we can talk about a problem first. You know, in a lot of our trips, we talk about question change. We talk about how to create the initial approach conversation to help people see the problem they have. Whether it be final expenses, whether it be income plus the death of a spouse, you know, we're talking about retirement planning. There's all kinds of different conversations you can have with people. But you got to start by helping them see a problem. For example, my go-to is taxes. Here I am in Dallas, Georgia, um, very conservative community, you know, and people hate paying taxes. You know, so the conversation is, is simple. You know, with all, all the, with the economy is going and tax, you know, and, and the government spending is going crazy. Do you think taxes are going to be higher or low in the future? You know, so if taxes go up, you know, how's that going to affect the amount of money you can save or spend in your retirement? You know, do you know what the highest marginal tax rate we have in this country has ever been? It was 95% back in 1942. If taxes go up even a half of that, how's that going to affect your retirement? What's your strategy to avoid paying all those additional taxes later on in life? If I can show you some strategies to eliminate those taxes from your future and create a money, a, a pool of tax-free money that you can spend 
without the government t seeing, smelling, tasting, or touching it, would you want to have a conversation about it? See, a point something is the easiest task we have. If we know our problems we're helping people solve and we're well rehearsed on creating that conversation. Conversation is key. Problem solving is key to our business. Whether you're selling $10 month term policies to $2 million base amount, IU wills and the whole lives. If there is no problem, there's no reason for the person to meet with you. So if you want to learn how to get appointments that stick consistently, learn how to meet with people on a favorable basis with everybody you talk to, learn how to set appointments with anybody that you meet on the street, at the stores, you do business with, you're getting on the phone with, whatever. It's all about helping people solve a problem, helping them see what's in it for me What's in it for them, you know, as the prospect, seeing through the prospect's eyes what the problem is, help them see and feel that pain. And when you do that, you're going to create more appointments that stick. So if you want to dive into more information on training on the question charts, on question techniques, on sales skill, appointment conversions, check out our website, insuranceproshop.com. We offer some of the best free training out there you can get, but also we have different membership packages we can help you get the training you need to in this business without spending a fortune. So that's all I have for today. Making a great day.